Hello everyone, today we're working on a DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise that has an infrared camera on it. It's pretty neat. I can't wait to show you guys how to fix the arm. The arm is broken, the rear left arm on this drone, and I got the replacement part from CloudCityDrones.com. Check it out, that's where you get the parts. Alright, we're going to jump in the repair and I wanted to let you know the tools you're going to need is a soldering iron for one. And you're going to use a T5 and a PH000 screwdriver to do this repair. And it is uh, quite complicated. And if you don't know what you're doing, you can always mail me in your drone and I'll do it for you. Just uh, email me at mark at icarefargo.com. First, just unscrew the bottom part with the T5 screwdriver. There's a piece of glue that's over top of the screw here. You have to kind of pick it out and then you can unscrew it and take off the bracket. Take off the back here with the bottom vision sensors on it and uh, use your PH000 screwdriver and unscrew the bracket holding down the connector that's holding this all together. We'll disconnect that and then we can move forward with the repair. This is a very long repair. It probably took me three to six hours to do and I had to um, deassemble it all. Use a T5 screwdriver and unscrew the screws holding down the outer shell on the top part. And then there's gonna be some hidden ones that we're gonna have to find as we work our way around unscrewing everything. There are uh, these little um, plastic pieces you gotta take off. And then there's gonna be a T5 screw hidden kind of on the outside of the camera. You wanna be careful to not unscrew the camera part. You don't want that flopping out and breaking, especially when the camera's like a grand. All right. So we got those T5 screws, the hidden ones out. Remove, the, you'll have to remove this black thing first to get the outer shell off completely. And there's some hidden screws that are actually on the bottom side where the battery is. At first I start prying at it and then realize that there are some screws. You gotta flip it over to unscrew those and then take those out and then you can take off the plastic bracket. Perfect, we got that plastic bracket off. Now we can unscrew the outer shell and uh, you start with the metal pry tool. You could use a plastic one too. I would recommend it so you don't like div up the plastic and bend it all up. And then you'll use uh, your pry tool to get off the front part right here and remove the two screws there. Then you can remove the shell. And I actually forgot some screws and we're gonna flip it over we got to shut the arms of it and flip it over and there's uh, two hidden ones right underneath the front arms and you kind of have to get at an angle unless you have the right type of screwdriver that can go right through the hole that is meant to go through and it did it for me so I had to go at it at a, in an angle. Anyways, uh, you guys... Please like my video, um, and if you have any issues, just leave a comment below. People will reply. I might even reply and try to help you out with your repair. See, you can stick your screwdriver through that hole, but it didn't work for me, so I just worked my way around. Perfect, we got the outer shell off. Now we get to unscrew the heat sink and fan. And then we can get to the connector that I believe is connected to uh, the radio signal of some sort. I don't know exactly. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% on what the antennas are for. Uh, some sort of controller that it must be. It um, runs through the uh, drone and it goes all the way through and around and it kind of sucks that you have to take all this off just for one connector when you can just desolder it from the other side but you have to take this part off so it's a bit complicated you'll use your ph triple zero screwdriver and unscrew the screws holding down this bracket and then you'll also remove the screws holding down the uh rear vision sensors and then uh 
work your way around to the fan and remove the screws holding down the fan and you'll flip off the fan and then I'll show you how to pry off the heat sink. Use a plastic pry tool to lift up the heatsink. There might be a screw holding it down that you just can't see. And just feel for the tension and look for a screw. Feel for the tension and look for a screw. Every time. That's how I do it. And then you can just simply lift off the heatsink just like so. I'm not quite sure what this thermal compound is or where to get some replacement stuff. So I wouldn't recommend removing it at all but i uh if you do know what it is just please leave it in the comments below it'd be much appreciated and uh then i would know how to replace that stuff and anyways uh you'll grab the antenna and pull it through the drone and then work your way around the edge and pull it all out and try not to rip up any of the other cables of for the other arm so you don't have to replace more than one arm Next, we'll disconnect the uh, light connector. Um, it's this red, white, and black, or not red, white, red, yellow, and black connector. It has some glue holding it down, and then you'll unwind it. Now, let's get out our soldering iron. Get a little bit of solder on it with some flux, and then let's melt the glue that's over top of the connectors. It's not really glue, it's just like an anti-conductive, like, uh, sort of material that they put over top of the solder joint so it doesn't like spark up and cause issues and uh or overheat and um, we will get these cables removed with the soldering iron pretty simple to desolder wires anyone can do it you don't need a microscope or anything special just a soldering iron Ta da! We got the arm off. Pull the cables through. There it is. Now we got to pull the cables back through. And the bracket of the arm is broken on this drone. So we'll use our PA000 screwdriver and unscrew the two screws inside where the battery is, um, at where the battery is supposed to be. And then uh, you can pull back the plastic just enough to pull the cables through. And then you can also unscrew this bracket that holds the arm mechanism that holds it in place where you fold them up or whatever the hinge it could be called. And we'll get that removed and then we'll put one back in. It made it a little bit more complicated when this thing was already removed. So I'm going to run my cables through it and then I'll uh, run my cables through the drone and then I'll screw the thing down.
Wow, you guys, this video is ginormous. So I did have a oopsies where I had to take the bracket out and then put it back in. And I'm sorry that's in the video, but I am losing my mind editing this video. So I even added music, which I normally don't do anymore because people complained about that. But whatever, this is for my sanity. I'm playing music for my sanity. All right. Thank you, you guys. I hope you enjoy the video. It's been a long repair. Start it. I had to redo the solder a little bit, but that's why I have some copper and so the copper wick so I can clean it up a little bit. And then I also added in some thermal coating so we could make sure it's not conductive. The rest of this video is just going to be sped up. Just music. Here we go. Please like and subscribe. This repair is worth it. It blew. Woohoo!